Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Planet Becky and this is the basic build series. This is the series where I am learning to build in the game of Planet Zoo um, so that not all of my zoos look like square enclosures because that would make life really boring. Um, so this, I have an actual story to tell about this build for you right here. This build I originally built on stream and it was so good. I was so happy with how it turned out. I went to go and edit the footage and realized that it didn't record. Um, to say I was mad, I was so mad about that because it was such a great build. If you were there on stream, you would have known this was such a, a great build, um, but it's fine. So I rebuilt it pretty much exactly the same as how we built it on stream um, there are a few differences um but yeah so the inspiration for this build so this build sorry is for the um the bison the american bison and they are such a cool animal um so i knew that i wanted to kind of make this build look like the american um, national parks kind of theme that's what I was wanting and going for with this build and that was where I took a lot of my inspiration from I actually I can't remember what their name was and so if you are this person then you you gave me a lot of inspiration for this build so I remember ages and ages probably about two years ago now watching this stream of this guy who was creating like a full-on national park in the game and i was like oh my god that is insane and like to say that it looked insane like it looked so amazing i was like dumbfounded by it i was like how have you managed to build this in the game so i was trying to kind of recreate that sort of an idea of doing the um, wildlife park, the national park sort of look, which is very much a natural look. It uses a lot of wood, loads of trees, all of that sort of thing. And I knew that's kind of what I wanted to recreate here. Now, when we originally built this on stream, this bridge that I'm currently building was a functional bridge for both animals and humans and for whatever reason you'll see in a second i just could not get the animals to go across it but it's fine so we've made this as more of a hey look how cool this bridge is and do you know what i do think it ended up looking really cool um so i was going for that sort of like national park theme and do you know what i think it turned out so great um this build though took me forever like it literally took me ages um i had to look at like quite a lot of pictures like online of how like the bridges how the footpaths look in national parks i did quite a lot of research for this one beforehand i actually did it before my stream as well um but once i started building i knew exactly what i wanted to build uh which really kind of helped me out um so i can't remember what that guy's name was that i watched his stream of but his actually was very similar to this um and i want to see if i can find them if i can find them i'll link them below but if i cannot just know that you are a massive inspiration to this build um so yeah for the american bison i kind of knew that i wanted to create a build that wasn't super like oh wow we're in a zoo um a lot of zoos in america don't really feel like that per se um a lot of zoos in america and i've been i've been to a couple um they feel i i don't know if this is maybe just the the zoos that i went to they feel quite natural actually to go to like they don't seem su super fake uh, and that's kind of what I was going for and I think it turned out so great. So I wanted it to kind of look like a national park, like we were part of the national park and this was just an enclosure within the national park. 
um, that's what I wanted this to look like. And you know what? This really brought out the whole detailed building stuff for me because once again, I am not a massive detailed builder. And this is what this whole series is about: is teaching me how. It's teaching me how to build in the game, and um, yeah, like it, it was challenging, and. Just knowing how to build certain things in certain ways, what I wanted things to look like. One thing, and it's really funny, so um, if you guys don't know, I am dyslexic, and one of the things that um, often got told to me when I was in school was like, hey, they have really great ideas, but she struggles to get it down onto paper. It's the same in Planet Zoo, ironically. I struggled to get the ideas that I have in my head into the game. Um, which I find really quite funny because that is like a major sign of like dyslexia. Um, has all these great ideas, struggles to get them onto paper. Common sign. Didn't get diagnosed until I was like 17. Um, anyway, and so what this series is doing for me is really challenging that idea of like being a little bit creative in the game. Um, I didn't actually realise this whole time that I had built this whole, like, um, sleeping quarters attached to, I think it was the quarantine. I did deattach it later when I tried to add something and I was like, why does it say quarantine on it? Didn't even realise. Um, the path at the entrance there looks really weird because I don't know why, I don't know if it's like a bug in the game at the moment, but I am struggling to connect the uh, path. There you go, you can see I'm disconnecting it now. <laughs> All of a sudden I realised, I was like, why does this say quarantine on it? Couldn't work it out. Um, so yeah, this game is like really like trying to, this is where I realised that they can't cross over the bridge. And when I was on stream and I built this, they could cross over the bridge and I was like, why? Why? Honestly, the whole time I was doing this, I was like, uh, maybe I'm doing this wrong. Maybe I need to extend it out. Maybe they just can't get up that sort of a slope. In the end, oh my god, wait, it actually, oh no, that was for the people there. I was about to say, it actually connected there. So the people can walk across it, but for some reason, the bison cannot, even though it is wide enough for them. All of those things. So I even tried making it a bit bigger, maybe extending the roof. Even when I did that, they would not walk up it. Uh, so I don't know if that was just a fun little bug in the game, but it it did make me want to cry a little bit because I thought this bridge looks so good. Maybe next time I will make the bridge like absolutely massive like I am doing here, but it just wasn't the, the thing. I just wasn't feeling it. It just didn't feel right to me. Um, I kind of just wanted like a small thinnish bridge, which is really weird though because in the the save that we did on stream it actually did work so i have no idea no idea why it wouldn't work um at all who knows if you know let me know in the comments below because i i mean you can literally see me here like struggling with it um and then i couldn't work out how to get the roof to look good so in the end i just decided you know what this can just be a bridge for the humans and I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna stress about it. Um, I tried so many things, like just making it like a flat thing, making it so that the animals could only walk in a certain way. Couldn't work it out in the end. Um, I mean, you can, you can very obviously see me here just struggling mentally. Yeah, really enjoyed it. Um, in the end, I just kind of gave up. Uh, but the idea for this build was it I just wanted it to look like a national park and you do often see these sorts of bridges in national parks um, so that's kind of what I was going for and yeah in the end I just I do genuinely think this build turned out so well I really enjoyed how it turned out So anyway, on to more of the decorating side of things. Once again, like I said, I really wanted this just to look like a massive national park. And so I tried to not make it super, super like, what's the, how am I looking at phrasing this? 
I didn't want it to look unnatural. I wanted it, this to look like this would be something that you would see in the national parks. So lots of kind of rocks, water, trees. Um, I decided to go for wood as all of my building pieces in this game, in this build, because I do just think it does look that little bit more kind of natural. Um, and it's often that sort of thing that you see like you know someone's got a log cabin all of those sorts of things and i just think it looks so great in the end um and yeah just that kind of really natural feeling so one thing like i said that i did kind of struggle with was building that bridge but i did not realize the american bison could swim sorry i've only just noticed that anyway I genuinely do think that this build turned out so, so great. I think the pieces that are in this game are so great. They just make this game so much better. They really, really do. And just the way that you can make something so, look so easily good in this game is incredible. Um, just a few rocks and a few plants and things like that just make it look so great. One thing that I really wanted for this, and I know you won't necessarily find this in the national parks, but is kind of like Christmas lights going all the way through. It is almost Christmas um, here, so, I, and I think it just looked really nice. I kind of wanted to put some form of lighting across this bridge um, because I would like to think that, you know, they would have some form of lighting um you know maybe not necessarily in the national park but you know in zoos most places do have good lighting wherever you go so yeah i and i think it just gave it that something it gave it a pizzazz i don't know if pizzazz is the right one but that is the word that I'm going with, pizzazz. Um, it just made it look a little bit more homey, all of those things. It was also really nice to see, like, the people that were visiting the zoo were walking all the way around the enclosure rather than just stopping right at the first little bit, which obviously shows me that there are, like, good viewpoints at the other end, um, which is obviously where a lot of them, them are. Um, you can see here how I just made it light up a little bit. I just think some Christmas lights go a long way. Um, I mean, if you ever visited me at university, I had Christmas lights everywhere in my university room. And I was trying to add more, but sometimes less is more. And I was thinking, maybe do I like these ones? Maybe do I like... And I was like, no, I'm sticking with my original decisions here. I'm sticking with them. But do you know what? I think they looked so great. I even tried just moving them around and I was like, mm. in the end, I just went back to the original because I just, I didn't like it as much. Um, but I love the fact that you can add just these very small bits of detail in, into the game. I do think it makes a massive difference. Um, like in all honesty like just adding those christmas lights in although it's nothing huge it does make a difference um so one thing that we have spoken about previously is custom fencing and that is something that i really wanted to do here and i kind of wanted to do the same kind of fence as you see along the bridge and i was originally using the bridge actual fence pieces that i built However, I then realised that the people could not see over them. And that is a slight issue because you want your people to view into it. Um, so I used the same pieces, just smaller, to make this fence. And I think it kind of really tied everything together. And I think it actually made it look so good. Um, one thing I am really learning is how just doing very small things can just really make such a massive difference. Um, I love the fence pieces that are in the game, the like the actual enclosure fences. Um, 
But once again, the chain link fence, they break down really easily. And then it makes your enclosure look a little bit run down and all those things. Whereas these pieces won't ever like break. Or as far as I'm aware, they don't break. That's a really interesting point because over time, obviously in real life, they would. Um, but as far as I'm aware in the game, they can't break down. Um, so yeah, that's why I wanted to... I, I keep wanting to place these sorts of like natural looking enclosures I guess you would say it, the, the, uh, fences sorry not enclosures but I do want to get better at building and you know what looking at this and obviously I think it made it look a lot better once I placed all of the trees around the outside so they don't affect the amount of trees you can have inside but around the outside it just made it seem like oh this is like a little area within the forest where the American bison are at and I just I I loved this build so much I think so far this is one of my best builds one thing I would like to work on for future um for future builds in the new year because I have already filmed all of these ones uh, up until the new year um I would really like to place down some uh custom like displays of the animals and I think that would be really cool. Anyway, this is the final build. I think it just looks so great. I think it looks so great. Also, shout out to Planet Zoo for creating this cinematic mode. Oh my goodness. I can build an enclosure now and just pop on the cinematic mode and just watch that for hours. Maybe not hours. Well, depending on the animal, definitely more than 10 minutes. Um, but oh my goodness, I was so happy with this, how this turned out. Anyway, here is my fun fact um, for you about this animal. So the Yellowstone National Park in the US is the only place where bison have continuously lived since prehistoric times. Which is kind of insane. That means they've been around for like a really, really long time. And obviously Yellowstone National Park is like a massive national park in the US. And so that's kind of where a lot of this inspiration came from for this build. I do think it is really important to look at where animals came from to get that kind of building type in the game. Um, and as we explore all of the different animals, that is something that I would really love to incorporate. So guys, thank you so much for watching these videos. I really appreciate every single one of you. I appreciate the likes and the comments. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment. Click that subscribe button click the bell so that you are notified every time a new video goes live on the channel leave me a comment of what you thought of this build how you thought maybe hey you could have done this better by doing this also how would you have done the bridge anyway thank you so much friends and i will see you in the next one bye friends